This is Peppy. All systems go. Falco here. I'm fine. What up, peeps? We got Kyle here, and we are at the SideQuest Expo in Portland. So we're just doing some shopping today. We don't have a booth for this one. So let's go around and see if we can find anything we need. I'm looking for complete box Super Nintendo games. I'm just looking for missing N64 games. I have 100 left for Super Nintendo. He has less than 100 left for N64. It's like 85 left. Nice. So we're both going to complete our sets today. Let's go. <laughs> First thing we're buying is from these bargain bins. Everything is five bucks each and they're doing bundle deals. So I picked out a good stack of stuff here for the store. Nothing like too crazy, but pretty good stuff. I'll show you everything a little bit later. Kyle over here doing deals. Get What are you getting? Uh, see if I brought games, you guys never would buy it. Fully Cooly <laughs> Omnibus, the complete manga series. Nice. Good deal for Kyle. That worked, yay! <laughs> and I'm thinking, I gotta get this for Cody. Look at this thing. They want 50 bucks. I think I'll give it. I think he's, he's supposed to be here today. So I'll, I'll get it and I'll give it to him. DJ boy. <laughs> that's, that's this guy. You're a DJ boy. <laughs> We're already making our first trip back to the car to drop stuff off. I did get the the donkey, which I still have to carry with me. So I'm gonna give it to Cody. He better be here. Yeah, he said he was gonna be here when I was up visiting Seattle last weekend. So he told us that they had a booth too. So yeah. But we'll show you guys here in a bit once we get to the car the stuff we picked up so far. But for me. It's nothing for my collection yet, just stuff for the store. All right, so I have a copy of Rayman for PS1 holding up my phone. <laughs> I can't show you that. <laughs> but I got a bunch of stuff from that, those tubs that were just five bucks each. Yeah. But he also said, <laughs> he also said that uh, there were bundle, bundle deals available. So um, he ended up giving me 20 bucks off the total, but I picked up a decent stack. We have Tarzan for PS1, Shenmue 2 for the Xbox, Nicktoons Unite, Wallace and Gromit, Pac-Man Fever for GameCube, Star Ocean for the PS2, Street Fighter 2 Championship for Genesis, and a $5 Mario Kart Wii, or Mario Kart 8, Gunfighter for PS1, Need for Speed Underground, and Catherine. That was my first bag. So I only got five N64 games so far. I'm not sure how much more I'll buy here, but I got the black cartridge for Rainbow Six, Killer Instinct Gold. None of these are in like super nice condition. Oh. Super loud. <laughs> um, Bomberman Hero, Lover, and the new Tetris. And then also from that $5 thing, I got Castlevania 2. We got Mario vs. Sonic, NBA Street, and Crisis Core for PSP. Uh, Golf Power for the NES, very uncommon. It's not it's about a $10 game, but still. Die Hard Trilogy for PS1, a Bulls vs. Blazers for Super <laughs> Nintendo in the box. I mean, you can't really, you can't really beat that. Yeah. Star Wars Episode One Racer. I got a clear blue PS1 controller and oh, a white Wii remote. The controller matches this $30 PS1 that I got with a clear blue shell. <laughs> and then I got a huge amount of handheld games. We have, actually, I'm going to set these out and I'll just film a little clip that we'll insert right here. Two PS2 games. I wasn't expecting to buy these, um, so I'll, sh I'll start with this one, Arts and Elico 2, whatever version this is. But then <laughs> I saw this 10th anniversary for Wild Arms 5, and the guy's like, "Yeah, go ahead and op open it up. It's complete in box." And I open it up, and the game is factory sealed. <laughs> And he was like, oh, I didn't know it was sealed. He was shocked. <laughs> he was like, he was bamboozled. <laughs> He's like, oh, you should have just bought it without opening it. And I was like, 
Uh, okay. He still gave him the deal though. Yeah. And then I picked up two copies of Pokemon Blue from a different seller. Um, they were 90 bucks, or they were 95. I asked him who do 90. He said yes. We cannot keep these in stock at 70 a piece. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty good. We're gonna get back in there. There's a whole other room that we have to go in. Yeah. So we're in the second area and we're only two booths in and I already bought two things for my personal collection. I picked up Civilization Complete, which is on my list. And you can't see it, but that's a Clay Fighter 2 manual. So I needed those. And I bought Raystorm for PS1. Nice. Just because it's a working designs game. Also that uh, Civilization game was half of what I had marked down for the price oh, that I would be willing to pay. It's in rough condition, so it wouldn't have been that much, but. I can heat press it. It's just a little warped. Let's keep going. Gifts for Abby acquired at this booth right here. I'll show you later. All right, so I got some stuff for you and I forgot to film it, but I figured this would be a better clip anyway. Okay. So. Are you excited, Abby? I always feel really nervous, like getting stuff on camera. Oh. Two things. You like? Ooh. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> they are. I like them. They're little knife earrings. <laughs> Stabby. So there's those. Yeah. But that's your small one. That's my small one. Yeah. Wing it shop. This is the real one. <gasps> what? That is cool. Handmade. I got these both from the same person. It's a husband and wife team. They hand make all their stuff. And they said keep this mm -hmm. because they do a lifetime guarantee for all the hardware. So if anything breaks or if anything gets messed up, they will fix it. That is so cool. And it is a coffin bag. On the inside, look, it's got little coffins. It's got little coffins. <laughs> and then and nice. we have tarot cards on the outside, and it's got the devil right there, <laughs> which I thought was really, really cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Thank you. I thought you would love it. I do love it. This is great. Do you love him? I do love him. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Just picked up another one off the list. Thanks to Josh here from Stupid Geeks. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> yeah, down to 98. You gonna do it? Maybe. <laughs> He's thinking about it. We'll do it. I mean, open it up, check it out. You can check it out yourself. And yeah. That's the biggest one you need. It's the last one or no? No, no, no. Not the last about, one, but... It's a good time, too, because it came down like $150, <laughs> you know? It was $1,100 like a year and a half. A year ago? A year and a half ago? Yeah. That was the highest I saw it, so... Check it out, though, man. Let's see. A few moments later. Done deal? Yep. Yeah. Got the heavy man. Got number one. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you did. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy. Are you happy? How many more you got left? Is it this and about 80? 80 left? Yeah. But well, you want to get the heavies out of the way. Yeah. So get this one. This one's actually great. I have this one. That's a tough one. Yeah, I have these. I have all these. This one's kind of expensive, but this are, these are the these are the ones. I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing these. So two. Only yeah. And the worms are good. And Beast Wars is like the. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got that at PRGE last year. Are you happy? No. <laughs> you went from a DJ boy to a happy boy. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. I love it. I love that I filmed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you guys ready? Cody's right there. I'm so nervous to meet him. 
we were we were standing right next to his booth and we were like we don't know where he's at but cooper's got a surprise for him we're ready <laughs> something for you. Oh, thank you. There's a gift. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that's a good addition. Does he talk? He does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm make him talk. Uh, he's got like a button on his belly somewhere. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, that big rug is two Gs. Super cool. The little ones are like one to two hundred, yeah. but they do custom stuff, and I think we're gonna try to get a DJ rug. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Hi. Hi. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I've been here all day. I <laughs> started it like before nine o'clock. I was in here running around. Woo yeah, it's a fun day. Yeah, all right. We're in here, man. I bought canvas prints, I bought Dungeons and Dragons dice, I bought Pokemon plushies, I bought regular Nintendo games, Game Boy Advance games, DS games. <laughs> I've been running around like a crazy person. Nice. So it's been fun. This is, uh, I, at first I came into just this hall not realizing that there's a whole nother hall and somebody uh, else was like, there. there's a whole nother hall and I was like, I was going to say this is really smaller than I expected. <laughs> like, holy cow. But no, it's actually a lot bigger than I expected. Nice. I picked up some stuff from John Riggs. So I did pick up another game for the collection. Gargoyles 2, Gargoyles Quest 2 for the NES. Wasn't really planning on getting NES games, but it just kind of happened. It's super mint with the plastic on it, just cut open at the top, and he gave me a pretty fair price on it. John! You go to John Hancock. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Doing good? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Things are good. Just chilling. Nice. Yeah. All my, all my home is new. New 7800 release. Ooh. 3D printed with different colors. That's cool. <laughs> you gotta get one of each color. Yeah. picked up something else that we're going to display in the store and it is a Looney Tunes sign. Look how cool that is. It's dated on the back 1992 Warner Bros Daytona Beach Florida. This thing's super cool. It was marked at 75 got it for 60 bucks. It's like wood but it's got like a clear coat over the front. This thing is super cool. Alright. I know about the public. That's voiced by um so I think we're done doing our shopping. And before we go eat, we're going to show you guys the last of the stuff that we got. I grabbed a couple Switch games for the collection. I got both of them for 40, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I've never seen either of these, so just add them to the collection. And I also got this Looney Tunes sign. He had it marked at 75, I got it for 60. Ugh, I think I already showed you guys, but 1992. It's so awesome, and I love it. And then this is what Tom picked up. Yeah. <laughs> Got the little display case and everything. Yeah, so the fifth one that goes in the center is like a smoke clear case. It's not actually got parts or one of the miniature micro game gears in there, but it goes in the center of it. And this was a, a limited Japanese launch. And the guy who sold it here said he bought one and then for his collection and then his friend was, was going to buy it and didn't and so he just was selling it off. Nice. And I thought Cooper would want something like this because he had all <laughs> of them with it. 
And I think each of these was like 40 or 50 dollars. So this was a pretty good deal to me. This was like 360, I think they ended up being. But it came with the, like, the little micro uh, expanded, like zoom in. <laughs> Magnifying. Yeah, that's really cool. So I thought that was a really unique pickup. Most of the other stuff I got, like gun smoke on NES and a uh, paper jam, just a couple of random things I didn't have in my collection that I wanted. So, yeah. Yep, that was all I got really so far. Sweet. So, yeah, we're done shopping. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out at the Sunny Quest Expo here in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Lots of fun. Uh, we didn't have a booth this year, obviously. We just got asked a million times if we have yeah. a booth. Because we, you know, we've done this, we've done this swap multiple years in a row, and I think this is the first time we haven't had a booth. And I don't remember what last year. No, I thought we did. It was last year. Me, you, and. Either way. Right. right. Or Fulton. I can't remember. I don't know. It was just the three of us last year. Either way, we'll definitely be getting a booth next time. Because um, we're not going to be in the process of what we thought was moving our store. But hope you guys enjoy. We saw a lot of cool stuff. We talked to a lot of people that we don't see very often, which is always fun. And yeah, there it is. So we're going to go eat. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.